This is our Lego automatic rubber motor winder. <laughs> okay, sorry, let me explain. I recently coached some kids in a Science Olympiad event called helicopters. These helicopters use rubber motors that have to be wound up a lot. To use this machine, you just attach the rubber motor and enter the number of winds you want. In competition, the kids would use over 900 winds. We'll just do 300. When you press start, the rubber motor is stretched out to four times its original length. I guess this helps it wind more evenly. When it's done stretching, it starts winding. The normal way of doing this is to use a 10 to 1 hand crank winder. It takes two people working in perfect harmony to do it just right. Since the rules allow for any type of winder, we decided to find a better way. After it's half done winding, it starts to get shorter as it continues to wind. The three teams I coached did great in our recent regional competition. They took 1st, 2nd, and 18th place out of 97 teams. This event is mostly about building a good helicopter and practicing a lot to find the perfect rubber motor. But I think the winder helped a little. I built the frame using half inch foam core and I built the torque meter for music wire and balsa wood. The torque meter shows how close the motor is to braking. After it's done winding, all you have to do is transfer the motor to the helicopter and let it fly.